Epstein-Barr virus, or EBV, has been causally associated with nasopharyngeal carcinoma and a variety of lymphomas. The virus is a ubiquitous herpes virus with a worldwide distribution and most people tend to become infected in childhood and then this infection persists through life. As well as nasopharyngeal cancers and, and lymphomas, it's also been found to be present in a number of gastric adenocarcinoma cases. Where present seems to be just the tumour cells that are positive and the remaining surrounding normal tissue remains virus free. In addition, the virus seems to spread monoclonally, meaning that the, the terminal repeats of the virus in every tumour cell are the same. These two things together suggested to us that the viral infection might precede tumour development and might be somehow causally related. For this reason, we undertook a formal comprehensive review of the literature. We reviewed um, to determine the prevalence of Epstein-Barr virus in gastric cancer. We also wanted to investigate some of the hypotheses that have been put forward before um, to explain this variation in prevalence. We reviewed 400 studies and ultimately included uh, 70 in our meta-analysis. We found there was a prevalence of 8.7% in these cancer, gastric cancer cases. A total of 15,000 gastric cancer cases were included in our study. And surprisingly, we found that this prevalence didn't differ by geographic region, which was something that had been thought to be true previously. On the other hand, we did find substantial sex differences in that 11% of male cases were positive compared to just 5% of female cases. Similarly, um, anatomic subsites seem to uh, influence EBV prevalence in that the upper regions of the stomach were twice as likely to be EBV, EBV positive as the lower third of the stomach. Similarly, um, tumours arising in, in post-surgical remnant tissue were four times more likely to be EBV positive. Histological type did not seem to play a role in that intestinal and diffuse tumours were equally likely to be EBV positive. There is a rare form of gastric cancer known as lymphoepithelial-like gastric carcinoma and this seems to be almost pathognomonic for EBV infection in that over 90% of these cases are EBV positive. So we determined that there was a, a proportion of gastric carcinomas which are EBV positive and that these seem to have distinct epidemiological features. Sex, anatomic subsite and post-surgical changes all seem to play a part. We need further studies to determine any other epidemiological features which might be important. And we hope to work with our colleagues in the lab further in order to determine how and when uh, tumour cells become infected and what consequence this might have, if any, for patient prognosis.